The next component that we're going to enjoy is called interactive reading. With interactive reading, we are engaging children to be readers with us. We want to choose books that have repetitive language, that have a lot of rhythm and rhyme, and of course, that really are enjoyable so that our children can be readers right along with us. Thinking classroom management, however, make sure that we let them know ahead of time how they're going to be involved and when they're going to be involved. You're going to allow them to be with you when you signal them. Make sure that you lay that out ahead of time. Today we're going to enjoy together the story called Old Black Fly. This story is written by Jim Ellsworth and illustrated by Stephen Gamble. The story is really fun and very jazzy. And your job as my classroom audience is to come in when I point to you and say with rhythm, shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. You can do so with your jazzy shoulders, shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. You can put the beat on your knees, shoo, fly, shoo, fly, shoo. And you'll wait for your cue when I say your turn. So with that, let's begin the interactive reading. Old black fly's been buzzing around, buzzing around, buzzing around. Old black fly's been buzzing around and he's had a very busy, bad day. He ate on the crust of the apple pie. He bothered the baby and made her cry. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo, your turn. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He coughed on the cookies with the chocolate bits. He drove the dog nearly out of its wits. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo, your turn. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. He frolicked on the eggs for the birthday cake. He licked up the frosting for goodness sake. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. Your turn. Shoo fly, shoo fly, shoo. Great job. As you're going through the reading, don't hesitate with the same rhythm in your voice to compliment the children. Wonderful reading. Great job. You're sounding like great readers. Those words all build the self-esteem and let them know that what they're doing is just what good fluent reading sounds like. Also, when you are reading, make sure that you show your enjoyment because that interactive engagement is what keeps children excited as readers. We're also demonstrating the fact that we are using all three cueing systems. Though the children don't see it, we're not teaching it to them as a skill right now, but we are seeing the picture support. Therefore, we're building that meaning cue, also known as semantics, so that children can draw from background knowledge, can draw from the picture support to have comprehension. We're also having them hear the letter sound connection, the graphophonic cueing system, being able to hear the sounds in the words, attending to the print, very important. And then lastly, the structure or syntax. Can we say it that way? So in essence, when we're done with an interactive reading, we should be able to ask children, did that sound right? Did it look right? Did it make sense? Those are the three cueing sentences and questions that we want to ask and implant in our children's minds. So through interactive reading, we're building the engagement with our students as great readers.